Hello there! Today I want to talk about a topic that's been on my mind for a little bit and I actually want to record a video quite a while ago but I haven't. So I have been doing those retreats where you go and you just are, there's no guideline really to it. Maybe I think I recorded a video on that but I haven't released that yet. And I have realized there is a big difference between focusing on the present moment and being present. When you focus on the present moment, you are doing something. You are saying, okay, I'm, I'm listening to the sound outside. I am noticing my breath. I am seeing this flower, right? And you're focusing on that. However, that is a different experience than actually experiencing being present. The being present for me feels like I'm like a kid again. There's there's no there's no filter anymore. You're just you're just soaking it in. You're like a sponge. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to focus on something. The touch sensation, for example, it just comes to your mind. The the beauty of the moment, it, it, it's just there. You don't have to even comment about it. You're so engrossed in it. You're being. There's no doing involved at all. The focusing on the present moment is very much a doing thing. I'm focusing right now on the present moment. Now, there's a belief that focusing on the present moment can give you the experience of being present. And in my experience so far, it never has happened through focusing on the present moment. I can focus very, very good on the present moment, but it has never led to what I experience as being present. Never. And what I realized is what has led so far for me to experience those moments of being present is a release, release of things that come up. It can be sensations in the body, it can be thoughts that are freaking you out, that are scaring you. Um, it, it can be anything that, that, that is kind of making that kind of disconnect to the present moment. And you can, yes, you can focus on the present moment, but that there's still a filter in place that keeps you from actually being present in the moment. It can be beliefs like, I have to do something. I cannot be just, I cannot just be, right? So I just want to share that, that the release of things actually lead to that kind of beingness of the moment, being in it, feeling it, and not even not having to do anything for it. So I found that quite interesting to to do that. Of course, um, the the other YouTube video I shot about activating your healing power is really important because that's what it's all about. That we censor. I censor myself, I censor thoughts that come up, I censor emotions that could surface. And then through censoring that, it is still there. And that's the, the filter that keeping, keeps me from being present in that moment. So learning to not censor is absolutely crucial in having those times in the day where you uh, actively don't censor yourself. And even during the day, maybe drop some of those sensors because they don't really make sense anymore. Um, Anyways, I hope you find this useful. If you like what I'm doing, share it on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, whatever else there is. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you around. Take care.